Kamala Harris's remarks are crafted to appeal to the shared values and moral obligations of Americans, but many find themselves detached from the Ukraine conflict, questioning why the U.S. should be involved at all. This unease reflects a broader tension between global responsibility and national interest, with many wondering if their leaders truly represent their concerns. Well, President Zelensky, it is good to see you again. This is our seventh visit together, and welcome back to Washington, D.C. As I have made clear on our six previous meetings and throughout Putin's brutal aggression and war against Ukraine, my support for the people of Ukraine is unwavering. I've been proud to stand with Ukraine. I will continue to stand with Ukraine, and I will work to ensure Ukraine prevails in this war. To be safe, secure and prosperous, the United States must continue to fulfill our long-standing role of global leadership. We must stand with our allies and our partners. We must dis defend our democratic values and stand up to aggressors. And we must stand for international order, rules, and norms. Each one of these principles is at stake in Ukraine. And that is why Ukraine's fight matters to the people of America. The Ukrainian people are bravely defending their homes and their homeland, their freedom and their democracy against a brutal dictator. And the American people know well the meaning of freedom, of independence, and the importance of rule of law. These ideals are central to who we are as Americans. And some of the most important moments in our history have come when we stood up to aggressors like Putin just as we must today. Indeed, standing with our friends and defending our ideals against tyranny has helped make America the most powerful and prosperous nation in the world. Putin's aggression is not only an attack on the people of Ukraine. It is also an attack on fundamental principles such as sovereignty and territorial integrity. International rules and norms are not some abstract notion. They provide order and stability in our world. They support American security and American prosperity. And when they are threatened anywhere, they are threatened everywhere. Harris's assertion that Ukraine's fight matters to the people of America stems from the belief that the U.S. must defend its democratic values and maintain its role as a global leader, particularly against aggressors like Vladimir Putin. Yet, for many, this premise is not so straightforward. While there is a general agreement on the importance of national security and freedom, doubts arise over the extent of U.S. involvement in foreign conflicts, especially when it drains taxpayer money or risks entangling the country in long, drawn-out military engagements. On the global stage, Many feel that leadership should prioritize the U.S.'s own interests first. Framing the Ukraine crisis as a crucial part of American global leadership is met with skepticism, particularly by conservatives who focus on domestic issues like the economy and national security rather than foreign interventions. They argue that America's primary responsibility is to its own citizens and any expenditure abroad must bring clear tangible benefits back home. Many Americans feel distant from the Ukraine conflict, unsure if it is truly their fight or just another cause being pushed by political elites without considering their will. While ideals like personal responsibility, freedom, and the protection of democratic institutions remain central to American values, there is a desire for political rhetoric to align more closely with real actions. Questions linger about whether Harris's words about defending freedom and opposing tyranny reflect consistent principles or are selectively employed in the realm of foreign policy. The lofty language of freedom and independence can feel disconnected from reality, especially for those focused on pressing domestic issues like crime, inflation, and immigration. Though many Americans support a strong defense and value the protection of democratic ideals. They are wary of deep military engagements or excessive foreign aid that appears disconnected from immediate U.S. interests. They argue that American leadership should focus on safeguarding national sovereignty, security, 
and prosperity without overcommitting resources or getting entangled in conflicts that don't pose a direct threat to the U.S. This challenges the assumption that U.S. security is tied to every global conflict, pushing for clearer limits on what the U.S. should and should not take responsibility for. Harris's emphasis on defending international rules and norms is often criticized as abstract and out of touch with the concerns of Americans who are more preoccupied with immediate domestic challenges.